Hey you guys, I think I've been asked this question a few times before. What if you have um, billing address and a separate shipping address? So um, sometimes you'll only have a billing address and shipping address will be the same. Sometimes those two will be different. How uh, is the best way to deal with those? So I've got a very simple file that I made with one table, customers and a couple of fields in there. So FileMaker creates a couple of um, fields by default. <coughs> And I've got like a few uh, different kinds of fields in there. Now, if I want to, um, so I've got my whole setup for the billing here. If I want to also be able to add a shipping address, then I'll need to duplicate this whole bunch because that whole uh, shipping address could be an entirely different address. So I'll just put this stuff over here. And this would then be shipping. Did I write that correctly? Yep. And then I'll just need four new fields. So let's go in here and let's say the address needs to be the address for shipping. And then I can just copy this whole bunch and then create a bunch of fields for the shipping as well. So um, city and the country as well. Okay, so now I've duplicated this whole bunch. And now I can simply assign these new fields to the shipping ones. So uh, very simple, a little bit boring, but yeah, sometimes you just have to do these like boring repetitive tasks to get your layout set up. Okay, so I've got my zip code that is a bit long. I can make that a bit shorter, I guess. And there you go. All right, so now um, you'll need to have some sort of s a system so that if I do like 12 Main Street, um, Oops, my uh, <clears throat> tab order is incorrect. If I tab from this one, then I arrive in that one. That's not right. So I can go to my set tab order. And then I can see you have one, two, three. That's correct. But then four is here. That's not good. So I'm going to set four in here just by typing five, six. Another way is to just clear all and to just click one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine, ten. That's more fun, actually. Okay, so I've got 12 Main Street in 90210. We all know that zip code. That is uh, like, um, what was that again? Beverly Hills in USA. Okay, cool. <clears throat> so now I need to have some sort of a system set up so that if my billing address and my shipping address are the same, I need to like use this one for shipping. But if my shipping address is different, then I need to use this one for shipping. Now, um, you could do some sort of like a button where you select something or with uh, some sort of a um, if statement or something, but it gets a bit complicated because then if you make like a sticker for shipping or an envelope or you print something, you'll need to either print these fields or print those fields. And that means that you have to overlay these on a, on a layout and make these invisible if there is no shipping address or something. It's just a whole complicated setup. Instead, I prefer to do this uh, thing kind of the easy way. And what I do is um, very simple. When you fill in the billing address, um, that same information should just go in these fields. So you have basically a duplication of this data uh, in these fields as well. And then if the shipping address is different, you can always just change this information. But if it's not, it's the same as the stuff that is in here. The um, advantage of that is that for the shipping, you can always just use these fields. You don't have to do any juggling or magic by making like but overlaying these fields or making them disappear. Um, it, it's a lot simpler in my view. So what we do is we go to the address of the shipping and we just simply say that the there's an auto enter uh, calculated value and the calculated value is simply the address and we're gonna leave this one uh, checked so that if there is a value in there um, and we're gonna change some stuff up this doesn't uh, update the values in this field so the same for zip code there is an auto enter calculated value it gets the zip code and we do this for all the fields and uh, you can do these um, which one is this one city you can do these like auto enter calculations if all the fields in your calculation are in the same table because then it works beautifully country of shipping okay so if you go back now we see that nothing has changed now these are only gonna change if I uh, update these so let's do a new record let's do chain though let's do 34 hillberry road in what whatever um newton um 
UK or something, whatever. And so you can see as I was filling these in, these fields automatically get filled in as well. Now, if this person happens to have a different shipping address, I can simply go in here and I can write 17 uh, church road. Maybe it's in the same town, maybe it's not. So I might have to update these as well. But now I've got a separate shipping and a separate billing address. And it was very simple to do very easy to set up on all of my printing stuff. I just put the shipping address. Uh, and I don't need to do any magic, any trickery, any crazy stuff. If I made a mistake in, um, let's say for instance, this one, oh no, I have to make a new one. Let's say I've got um, Jill Steins or whatever, um, 13 Boulder Road. If I have a situation where I have, um, oops, made a mistake and I edit it, because I didn't uh, uncheck that one field, uh, this is not going to be overwritten. So that's the only kind of like downside uh, side of this system is that if you ever um, make a change here, you also have to make that change there. Now, if you want to, um, if you want to make sure uh, that you can easily do that, you can just simply create a script that um, fills in all the shipping info with the billing info. So um, fill in, or how shall I say that? Fill in billing info. Okay, and you can just do a couple of set field steps where you just basically set the field of the shipping with the uh, address of the billing. There, and you just do that four times. So address of shipping zip code of uh, yep just simply the zip code and then the city of shipping with the city oops didn't click it often enough there you go and then the country of shipping with the actual country there. And just for fun, I could add a little commit records request, which is uh, just a simple step that saves the values in the field. And I could just put a little um, I could just put a little button there, and maybe I'll just use a little a little arrow there, something like this. There you go, put it here somewhere. I'll just give this a button action of perform script and I will fill in the billing info. Let's double click this one more time so I can set my favorite option here, change the cursor to a hand. And if I want, I can go into these settings and give my button a nice little color. And that way I can just simply, let's say I have made a mistake there and I don't wanna co correct this one and then also have to go in and correct this one. I can use this button to kind of fill in all the information from the one side to the other. Other. Of course, if I fill in a field that hasn't been filled in yet, that has no information in it, this will simply update. But if I like change this whole thing now, let's say they call me back and I have to change the whole address. Um, then I can just simply just update and click this button to kind of synchronize these two up. Now we do have to be careful if there is a different address here and you copy and override it, you do lose that old address. But this I think is a very simple, very clean way of um, uh, just kind of synchronizing those billing and shipping addresses and just making it very simple for yourself. Um, so this is a neat little trick that maybe you guys could use. If you guys want to learn a ton more about FileMaker, you can head over to my Udemy page where I've got a bunch of entire FileMaker courses online. You can follow them and basically we make entire FileMaker systems from scratch and I'll take you uh, on the entire process step by step. There is even one that is uh, completely free, so you can just follow that free of charge and that is a beginner tutorial where we make an entire contact database. Um, that's a really fun one that you can follow that can teach you the basics of FileMaker. So head over there by following the links in the description and I'll see you guys there.